tasty. Wow, this is so different. Wow. I'm back from the gym ready to have breakfast so in case you don't know I love training fasted it's just personal preference no specific reason other than that it just works better for my body I think unless I have breakfast and then like wait for an hour before I go train I don't really benefit from eating right before training and I train as early as I can so that's why I don't want to wait an hour but I actually prepared breakfast yesterday already so it is super easy I love it it's called the Kim K breakfast I'll show you in a second I don't know why it's called the Kim K breakfast because in my opinion it's just like the most generic recipe but I love it so it's good but also in case you didn't know I am on this gaining journey so I'm actually technically on week five of gaining and it is 12 weeks in total so the reason why it's 12 weeks is because I'm doing my 12 week program the next level guide I'll link it in the description box if you want to train with me honestly I am obsessed with the program but last week which was technically week four I was in Germany because we are building our own fitness app and I'm from the Netherlands in case you didn't know but I had to go to Germany to work with the developers we had a two-day workshop it was super fun very intense but I'm honestly like I cannot wait like I'm so excited and so nervous but very excited we're building it from scratch so it's like this huge product 
project. But anyways, I wasn't able to really train or stick to my diet as much as I want to. So I was like, you know what? We're flexible here. I love flexible approaches. So I'm just going to call it a deload week and then repeat week four in week five, which is now. So I'll just keep saying I'm now currently at week four of my gaming journey. I guess to clear things up why it's still week four if you haven't followed me from the start. Anyways, 12 week next level guide. It's the most intense program that I have. People often ask me what's the difference between the next level guide and the level up guide. The next level guide is even more intense. Um, but yeah, I love it. Time for breakfast. I organized my fridge yesterday. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm very excited. Ta-da! So I did some meal prep and I prepped some rice and chicken, but we already ate chicken yesterday. And then we have some veggies ginger, shots, stuff, <laughs> almond milk, and then my breakfast for today, some berries, and then some yogurt and some veggies. And then I also made these four juices, which aren't looking as pretty anymore the next day, but they are still tasty. So I'm going to grab a juice and then my Kim K brekkie, which is this one. Not these ones, but these are really nice as well. <laughs> some berries. I still have a secret stash. Oops, up here. Juice for the day. My leg workout was so intense that my legs are still shaking, <laughs> but I love it. Okay, so here is my chia seed pudding, the Kim K recipe. So basically it is two tablespoons of chia seeds, a little bit of honey, and then I added some almond milk. I'm not exactly sure if she added honey, by the way, but I did. I added a little bit, not enough milk. <laughs> I didn't add enough milk yesterday. So the day before I added too much, so I added less than that, but now it was a little bit too little. So I added a bit more until you find the preferred consistency that's perfect and then i added some fresh fruits chia seeds are great they have many health benefits and this is an easy way to eat them and then to get some extra protein in i'm also going to make a yogurt bowl i always have greek yogurt i don't know why i just prefer it and then i get the low fat one because when i get the higher fat one it actually kind of messes up my <laughs> digestive system so we're not going there and making that mistake again so this one i think has 10 grams of protein per 100 grams and the whole top is 450 grams so that is just an easy way to get some protein in i don't really love to eat it this without any toppings because it's a bit too yogurty for me so i'm going to add some honey and then some fresh fruits usually i also add some granola but i'm not sure if we still have it i'll try to find some Okay, so here is the end product, the yogurt bowl with granola, honey, and fruits, my Kim K pudding, and then my juice, which is from coconut water and blue spirulina. Breakfast is served. Quick tip, if you don't like eating textured things, you'll hate the pudding. <laughs> so you might wanna skip it. I just got back from the Korean supermarket because I need something for lunch. I got some snacks that I really wanted to try and I'm so excited. So first I got some kimchi for lunch, which I'll add to my recipe. But then what I got, what I really want to try is I got this, what was it called again? Dorayaki, I'm probably not saying that correctly, which is a, with a green tea custard flavor. And then, ooh, I got this one. So this is 
a real mochi with black sesame cream flavor. Real as in I got mochi before, but that was like from the Lidl, I guess. So I'm excited to see if there is a difference. But first I'm going to try the pancake. So excited. I'm going to grab a spoon. Should I cut it? I want to make like a cute photo maybe for the thumbnail. Oh, wow. Taste test. So first is the pancake thing. Definitely does not disappoint. I love trying these cuisines. I guess that's what you say, that I've never really tried before. I would love to go to the countries and like actually eat there. That would be a dream. 9 out of 10. Getting out of mochi. Wow. This is so different. I think I had more like an ice cream before and this is more like a paste. Mmm, so yummy. <laughs> Very nice. You need dinner. It's not time yet. Tomatje. Ooh. So while I'm eating this, I'm going to prepare lunch. So for lunch, I have these nori sheets some rice that I already made, and then some cucumber, kimchi, some tuna, and then I'm going to make a mix with mayo and shiracha in this bowl. So that's step number one, and then I'm just going to assemble my nori sheets. So this is what I have right now. It is the tuna in olive oil and I'm going to add some of this mayo and shiracha and I might add a bit of pepper as well, but I'll taste it first. Et voila! So now I'm going to divide this thingy into four squares and then make a cup right here and then place my ingredients and then fold it and then we got ourselves a little burger thingy. This is so easy. If you already have ingredients prepped or if you want to take lunch with you to work or to school, you can just easily assemble it or already make it at home and then take it with you. But I prefer assembling it on the spot because then I feel like the nori stays kind of crispy a little bit more otherwise it will get so soft but personal preference. You can obviously add any ingredients that you like. I'm making it with tuna right now, but you can also do it with avocado or egg or basically anything. Voila! And there we have our little lunch wrap. So I have 50 grams of tuna, some rice, some cucumber, and then the kimchi. Okay, I'll do a taste test. I guess this is the angle that we're getting today. I'm too hungry to change it. <laughs> Cheers! <Ooh>. She's spicy. <laughs> Love the flavors though. You know what they say, it's very healthy. This is your reminder to drink some water. And this is my reminder that drinking water doesn't help <laughs> with spicy food. But it is good though. It's just, maybe I should have picked a different kimchi. Probably. Here is the second one. So I made it a bit thicker with the tuna and the rice. Um, so that's what I wanted to show. <laughs> spicy. Oh 
you can even see the red peppers. That's why it's spicy. Good evening. I am making dinner right now. I already boiled my potatoes for I think 15 minutes or so now that they're tender and now I'm going to mash them and put them in the oven and I also have some chicken in the air fryer which I got at the butcher so it was already like pre-marinated and stuff I just had to like heat it up which is perfect very quick <laughs> This is kind of satisfying. <laughs> but basically you just want to smash them. That's why they need to be boiled first. And some salt. And now I'm going to put these in the oven. I think at 220 maybe? 200 Celsius? For like 10 minutes and then I'll check what they look like and then I'll add more time if needed. Okay, I'll just show you. I think I've put them in for 30 minutes, so quite long at 200 degrees Celsius, but just watch me. Wow. Look at these. And here is the chicken you can't really see, but I'm keeping it at a super low temperature for as long as I can. I'm just waiting for Ruben to be back and then we can enjoy dinner. I'm also going to make a bit of a guac to go with the potatoes as a bit of a green touch to dinner. And then I still have half of the Japanese or Korean pancake, which will be dessert. Ta-da! So the skin is a bit burnt, but I usually don't eat the skin, so that's fine. And then I have the potatoes with avocado. Delicious. <laughs> 